Good morning and welcome to this service of morning prayer for Wednesday morning. My name is Catherine Bowyer and I'm the Dean of Newcastle and I acknowledge that Christ Church Cathedral Newcastle stands on a Wabical land. I pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and pray that I with the Cathedral community may join with them in a spirit of reconciliation to care for all that God has entrusted to us in the good gifts of creation. The service for Wednesday morning prayer can be found in the prayer book on page 401. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 78 and our reading from Luke's Gospel, Chapter 2. In the name of God, Creator, Redeemer and Sanctifier. Amen. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. Our opening canticle, A Song of God's Grace. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children, through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 78, verses 16 to 38, can be found in the prayer book on page 302. Psalm 78, verses 16 to 38, on page 302. But for all this they sinned yet more against him and rebelled against the Most High in the desert. They willfully put God to the test and demanded food for their appetite. They spoke against God and said, Can God prepare a table in the wilderness? He indeed struck the rock so that the waters gushed and the streams overflowed. But can he also give bread or provide meat for his people? When the Lord heard it, he was angry, and a fire was kindled against Jacob. His wrath blazed against Israel, for they put no trust in God, nor would they believe his power to save. Then he commanded the clouds above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down manna for them to eat and gave them the grain of heaven. So they ate the bread of angels and he sent them food in abundance. He stirred up the southeast wind in the heavens and guided it by his power. He rained down meat upon them thick as dust and winged birds like the sands of the sea. He made them fall into the midst of their camp and all about their tents. So they ate and were well filled for he had given them what they desired. But before they had satisfied their craving while the food was still in their mouths the anger of God blazed up against them and he slew their strongest men and laid low the youth of Israel. But for all this they sinned yet more and put no faith in his wonders. So he ended their days like a breath and their years with sudden terror. When he struck them down, 
Then they sought him. They turned and sought eagerly for God. They remembered that God was their rock, that God Most High was their Redeemer. But they lied to him with their mouths and assembled with their tongues, for their hearts were not fixed upon him, nor were they true to his covenant. Yet he, being merciful, forgave their iniquity and did not destroy them. Many times he turned his anger aside and would not wholly arouse his fury. He remembered that they were but flesh, like a wind that passes and does not return. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, thoughts, words and actions be well-pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our reading is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, beginning at the 41st verse. Now every year his parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended and they started to return, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Assuming that he was in the group of travellers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, They returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. He said to them, Why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in years and in divine and human favour. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our second canticle this morning is found on page 428, page 428, a song of Christ's goodness. Jesus, as a mother you gather your people to you, You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying we are born to new life. By your anguish and labour we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy heal us. In your love and tenderness remake us. In your compassion Bring grace and forgiveness for the beauty of heaven. May your love prepare us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. 
save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. O Lord, you have taught us that all our doings without love are worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit, and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for your only Son, Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Loving God, we bring before you this world, which is often torn apart when people ignore your love or refuse to accept it. We pray for places suffering with disaster at this time. Particularly, we pray for Fiji. We pray for those for whom disaster is made by human greed, by human ego, by human prejudice. We pray where disaster is caused at this time through the pandemic. We pray for those who are entrusted with the responsibility of leadership, for Scott Morrison, our Prime Minister, for Gladys Berejiklian, our Premier, in Newcastle, for our Lord Mayor New Atali Nelms, and for Tim Crackenthorpe and Sharon Claydon, who represent the people of the Newcastle community at state and federal level. We pray for all who are called to lead in the places where we live and work and pray. We pray particularly for the people of Western Australia and Perth at this time. And pray patience, peace and grace. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for your church throughout the world. We pray that we may be icons of your love and bearers of your grace, that in us others may encounter your infinite, inclusive love poured out in redemption for the world. We pray for Peter, our bishop, for Sonia and Charlie, our assistant bishops, for Arthur and Rod, our archdeacons. We pray for all who are called to proclaim words of love at this time. We pray for those who go into our schools to teach scripture, that they may be a visible sign of your love for all who work in education and all who study and learn. We continue to pray for the ways in which we share your love with those around us. We pray that you will guide our conversations one to one, that we may share of your love in our lives and invite others to experience it for themselves. Equip us by your spirit that we may be your hands, your feet, your voice in the world. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, our hearts are often overwhelmed with prayers for those whose stories we know, whose stories we have heard, and with all the news that fills our media. We pray particularly for those who are ill with COVID-19, for those who love and care for them. We pray especially for our frontline workers, our healthcare workers, for all who place themselves in positions of vulnerability at this time so that we may live safely and well. We pray for those who this day feel that there is no one who loves them, that they may know that they are never far from the reach of your love, that they may feel the embrace of your love at this time and in the places in which they find themselves. We pray for those whom we bring before you in love, just as the friends lowered a person 
their friend before you through the roof of a house. We lay those for whom we pray at your feet in faith and hope and love. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for your faithful women and men of every generation who have proclaimed your love with their words and in their lives. We give thanks for those who have loved and cared for us and through whose love and nurture we have come to know you and grown in faith. Grant that we may one day with them rejoice in your eternal kingdom where love never ends. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen.